Hi, I'm Kyle Mestri from Cisco. Um, I'm a principal engineer in the office of the CTO working on open source projects. And what I'd like to do is show everybody um, an example of Open Daylight uh, integrating with OpenStack Neutron. So what I did here was I we tried to draw a very simple diagram of how we think this integration is going. I know on the previous podcast we had talked about this, so this is kind of a visual for people to see. So what I would have drawn here is you know OpenStack Neutron on the top, and OpenStack Neutron is an API server. And the idea to integrate with Open Daylight as the SDN controller is to essentially have a thin plugin here. And all the plugin is going to do is effectively act as a REST proxy. So it's going to proxy the API calls from Neutron down to Open Daylight. And your Open Daylight controller on the northbound side is going to take those. Um, we're currently working on that northbound API to integrate with that. Um, a very simple example on the southbound side of implementing those to talk to virtual switches is the OVSDB work and the OpenFlow 1.x work that's going on right now. So very simply using that, we're then able to talk down to OpenV switches to program tenant networks um, and to provide tenant isolation. So using this model, we can very simply satisfy the OpenStack Neutron uh, API requirements and we can utilize Open Daylight to, to provide tenant isolation and things like that. Um, what's, it, what's also interesting is, you know, as we get more advanced plugins down here uh, on the southbound side, we can also look at some of the more advanced Neutron APIs and handle those in Open Daylight as well, things like L3. So maybe we can have Open Daylight creating L3 routers um, virtually and things like that. So we can start to handle things at that level in addition. Um, so really, that's, that's, a, that's the visual of what we're planning to do for integrating Open